Welcome to Crafty Beach. This is Julie. I have three more Valentine DIYs for you today, all with some coastal fun. Here is a sneak peek of the DIYs we're going to do today. I had a lot of fun putting these together and I really hope you enjoy these DIYs. I'm going to use mostly supplies from the Dollar Tree and some stuff from the thrift store. So the first project, I'm going to use one of these little foam hearts with the glitter, a plain wood heart from the Dollar Tree, and some of that um, removable wallpaper from the Dollar Tree, and my favorite pattern, the palm leaf pattern. And so that paper is almost big enough for this heart if you get the heart turned like in the right direction, big enough to make it work. So I'm just going to draw that wooden heart on the back of our wallpaper and then just go in and cut out the heart shape. And we're going to cover the little wood heart with this. So easy, so fast, um, so much more faster than painting. But if you can't find this wallpaper, you could totally paint it like maybe this mint color of green. Um, greenish blue and you'd probably get about the same effect. So just lining up our heart and sticking down that wallpaper and then I'm just going to take off the excess final along the sides with just a little bit of sand paper. Now it wasn't quite big enough there were a little few a little bit of the edges you could see so I'm just going to burn um, some of this jute twine from Walmart and I am just going to hot glue that all around the edges of the heart and you won't be able to see that it wasn't quite big enough in a couple places. I really like uh, this jute twine from Walmart. It's kind of a cross between the jute twine from Dollar Tree and their like thinnest rope. It's a good size, but if you don't have it, you could use um, either of those items as well. And we got that lined and I just wanted a nice little tropical heart background for my next project. So I'm just poking out those holes again and reattaching that hanger that came with the sign. And I do end up not hanging it from that, but you'll see that here in a second. So when I saw this little foam heart, I was thinking, Flamingos. It looks like two flamingos kissing to me. <laughs> so that's what we're going to make it. It's way too pink and glittery for me though. So I want to cover the whole thing with some of this pink burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree. So I only had one roll of this stuff. So I was really hoping that it was going to be long enough to go around the whole thing. If you can't find this pink ribbon, you could use kind of any kind of pink ribbon or um, you could paint it as well. That would tone down all that glitter. But I thought that the, the material of the ribbon would give it a nice coastal flair. So it was almost exactly the right length. So I got that all wrapped. The ends are glued down. Now we need to make this look like some flamingos. So fabric paints really well. So I'm going to use some of this chalk paint in the color of ink by Waverly. And I'm going to paint um, on little beaks for our flamingos. So kind of where the two come together, like they're in the middle of the heart. And just trying to keep that straight. I didn't bother taping it off. I just tried to keep working like in straight lines and give the little black tip that's on the end of La Flamingo nose. And I'm not going to put a line or anything in the middle. I'm just going to have them kind of naturally come together like that. Like the little flamingo heads are kissing. I'm just trying to remember kind of like what a flamingo 
beak looks like and it isn't only just black. You could leave it like that though, but I thought I would go in with some ivory acrylic and do like a little white stripe as well above the black. Basically, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna also try to make some eyes for the flamingos. I have like the little googly eyes, but I thought that would look like kind of like a toy or kind of cheap. And so what I end up doing is going in with some wood half beads that I had left over from a project that I got on Amazon. But you could kind of use anything small and round. I'm gonna use the little half beads like upside down because the eyes of flamingos look kind of flat. And then I'm just gonna paint them ivory um, with just some acrylic paint. And then I'm gonna go in and then just do like a little pupil on each one with just a black Sharpie. And just put like a little black circle, kinda like a real flamingo I and then I'm just going to attach those with hot glue to our fabric ribbon there kind of where I think they would be and I think this turned out really fun I think that they really do kind of look like flamingos kissing and we are going to attach that on to the front of that tropical heart that we just made so we're just going to glue it on with some hot glue onto the fabric ribbon and glue that on to our tropical heart. Now, once I got it on here, I like how it looks, but I'm just not a fan of the thin Dollar Tree signs. And I thought it looked a little cheap um, for what I was going for. So I'm gonna decide not to hang it. I'm just gonna tie those off to fill the holes with that twine that was in there. And then I have this sign that I got at the thrift store real cheap. And the frame is the perfect color, but I need to cover up the background. So to do that, I'm gonna use some more of that removable wallpaper from the Dollar Tree. This is the one with like the white wood floor. And I just kind of creased it to try to kind of give me a rough cut. I did like kind of cut it too short in a couple places. So I do go in with some like the leftover strips and try to fill that in a little bit, just so I didn't have to do any painting on the back of that sign. But you could always take a sign and paint it white, distress it, and you could even draw the little uh, wood slats on there with a ruler if you'd like. So just putting down those spare pieces so that you won't be able to see the background and placing the rest of the wallpaper down on our sign. And I think this is gonna give it a more substantial feel. I'm just gonna hot glue that heart overlapping on the frame. And I really like how this project turned out. I think he is, they are super cute. What do you think? And I'll show you how it looks here in my kitchen on the side of my cabinets. I really love how this project turned out. Okay, on to our next DIY. I'm gonna use one of the slatted wood hearts from the Dollar Tree. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just go in and stain the little background uh, pieces, like the frame of the heart with just some antique wax by Waverly because that's gonna be visible in the final project that we're gonna do here. So I just put that stain on and then rub off the excess with just a paper towel. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, a driftwood heart. I'm gonna kind of do a different version of the driftwood heart that I did in one of my previous videos. Um, just kind of an alternate way you can make it. And I'm using this driftwood is the driftwood vase filler from Target. Um, I can post a link below for that. I've also got it on um, Amazon before too, and I can post a link to that as well. But basically it's like a puzzle. So I wanna cover up all the little slats with driftwood. So I'm just going in and trying to find pieces that are gonna cover 
the wood background without going over too much. The bottom I had to be kind of creative and kind of go all over the place because it was such a crazy shape. But these two slats in the middle are fairly easy. I'm just kind of working in rows and hot gluing those to the wood background, trying to get pretty good coverage. It's okay if a little bit shows through because I do plan to finish this driftwood a little different than um, my other driftwood heart. So again, just working like a puzzle, trying to find pieces that fit. This part is kind of fun, trying to put it all together and just hot gluing them all together. So the top part is kind of like the bottom point where I kind of had to find all kinds of crazy shapes, like try to curve shapes. So I like to dump all those out, the driftwood, so I can kind of see and I kind of piece that together. If you need to change directions or whatever, you totally can. It's totally forgiving. You can do whatever you need to do. And I'm just gonna keep gluing those on. I'm gonna kind of cover the existing holes that are in there. And we're gonna do a fun little driftwood sign. And I like that the driftwood make this sign thicker and more substantial. So this driftwood from the um, Target is really light colored and I want more of a contrast and a more of a natural looking driftwood. And so now I'm just going over the whole thing with a chunky brush from the Dollar Tree and some of that antique wax by Waverly. And we're going in and we're staining the driftwood lightly and then going over um, it with a baby wipe to try to take off any of the excess. I don't want it too dark. And I'm also working in there any of the existing wood frame that you could see and staining that as well as we work along on this driftwood heart. Isn't it turning out really lovely? I think this is so pretty. I'm so glad that I decided to stain it. Now, um, before I do the next step, I'm gonna go ahead and make a quick twine hanger for the back. And there is an area that's a little thicker here in the back, especially with the driftwood on the front. And I'm just gonna use my staple gun to glue that twine hanger on the back. Then I wanted to decorate it with like some of my shell stash. So I'm gonna use um, one of these starfish that I get on Amazon. I can post a link. And a sand dollar that I get on Amazon as well. And then just some of my seashells from my seashell collection. Um, most of these seashells came from Dollar Tree in the little package of seashells. And I'm just kind of gluing one on each um, level of the heart. I don't wanna add too much. I don't wanna cover up too much of the driftwood, but I just wanna give like some accent pieces. And I'm kind of choosing all kind of the same colors. I'm kind of doing like ivory. Just a few more coastal touches for this driftwood heart. I think this turns out so cute. I do add a second one to the top just because it was kind of wide and large and gluing those all down with hot glue. I think this turned out so fun and this is how it looks in my kitchen. It's also on the side of my cabinets and I think it turned out really lovely. Okay, moving on to our next Valentine DIY. I'm gonna use some of these foil flamingos from the Dollar Tree, some more of that tropical removable wallpaper from the Dollar Tree, and this is just a thrift find sign. It's almost the perfect size for what I need, and this was a really good find. I love to get these signs on sale when they do their 50% off at the thrift store. And what I'm gonna do is cover it with that tropical wallpaper. I love this step. I use this in my fall DIYs and also my Christmas DIYs. It is so versatile. And it wasn't quite large enough for this sign, so I do have to cut off another strip from another piece. And they actually fit together the pattern starts and stops, really nice. So just doing that along the bottom, there was a little bit of overlap of the vinyl and so I just go around with a little sanding block 
from the Dollar Tree and clean up any of the edges. I'm just gonna kind of leave the edges that brown color. That'll be fine. And this is gonna be a flamingo sign. So I kind of wanted to do another background like I did before. This one kind of has wood slats though and I kind of want to incorporate that into the project. I think it'll make it feel more coastal. So I'm just kind of feeling through the wallpaper and kind of creasing where uh, those boards came together on that original sign. And then I'm just gonna go in with an X-Acto knife and cut those out back into boards. And then it's a little rough like that. So I do go in with a sanding block from the Dollar Tree and I do like all of the edges in between the boards. And I also go around um, all of the edges of the sign and rough that up, kind of give it a coastal feel, kind of go all over and give it a little bit more of a rough sand to give it a coastal look. Now these are the little flamingos from the Dollar Tree in the Valentine's Day section. And I want to DIY those for the front of the sign. You may recognize these. I use the same ones for my Flamingo Valentine tear tray video. If you haven't seen that video, please go back and check. Um, I didn't get a lot of views on that video for some reason. And so I am just taking all of the tinsel off the front of the little flamingos and I'm just gonna recover those. There are like a little beak and eyelashes on there as well that I do take end up taking off with just a heat gun. And I'm not gonna worry about any of the little like pink tabs and stuff sticking out of the side because this is like made out of like kind of a really brittle plastic. It's not the easiest thing to cut. But once I get all of that crazy tinsel off, um, I can go ahead and go in there with my heat gun and take those off. They're just glued on, both of them. And I considered reusing the little eyelashes, but I decided I didn't really need them. So I did not. And then I'm going to go in with some heavy duty scissors and just kind of cut them apart. The little thing that was holding them together, that's not going to be really necessary because we're going to attach this to a sign in the back. And this is gonna make them easier to recover. And this is what we're gonna cover our flamingos with. This pink um, dish towel from the Dollar Tree. It's the perfect color. It's gonna give me a lot of texture. And I'm gonna cover the bodies of the flamingos with this and leave the legs the pink color. So I'm just kind of laying that out on top of the flamingos and just cutting up the sides here where uh, the legs would be. And I am just kind of feeling around where the towel needs to be cut. I'm gonna cut straight up the middle here in between the two flamingos and then kind of cut around the tails, leaving enough fabric to overlap the back so that I can hot glue that on. And I just keep working kind of piece by piece and get like a rough little shape there. And then I'm gonna cut another, the other side the same shape so that I can cover both of the flamingos. So I don't want too much fabric on the back, but a little bit is going to be a perfect to hot glue. So I kind of cut like a little strip there in between the flamingo legs, and then I'm gonna kind of rough cut around where I need it to be, making sure that I don't cut it too short, and then just kind of wrapping the towel around the back of the flamingo and gluing that down inside the plastic. It doesn't have to look pretty back here because you're not gonna be able to see this. It's gonna be attached to a sign but if you were gonna use this as like a freestanding piece, you could always go back and cover the back with some fabric as well. So just kind of working like a piece at a time. Once I got the tail down, I kind of do the same thing here with the necks. Just trying to cutting um, like maybe like an inch extra fabric so that I can wrap that around and glue that down alongside the neck. 
and I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna show you once how I do this and then I'm gonna turn around and do the same thing to the other side off camera. And we are gonna have our two little flamingos. I'm just gonna kinda leave them with no eyes or beak or anything like that. Kind of a more abstract um, flamingo. And this is how they turned out. So all I need to do now is to attach these to my tropical background sign. I think uh, that looks really cute together. Totally giving me um, a Florida vibe and just kind of figuring out where I want them to be. You can kind of see the seam between my two pieces of wallpaper there at the bottom from when I sanded it, it kind of made it white. And so I'm gonna cover that up with just some of this burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree, just to kind of add like a little bit more detail and to cover up that seam. And then this is a Christmas ornament that I got on clearance at the Target Dollar Spot. And I'm just gonna attach that with hot glue as well. If you don't have this, you can use any kind of heart. They have like the galvanized metal ones from the Dollar Tree. And they do have some wood ones as well in different sizes. So I glued that down kind of where I need it to be. And then I'm gonna start hot gluing down the flamingos to the sign. First I do the body, and then I go back and hot glue down the legs. I really liked that heart that I chose because it fit perfectly in between the legs here and I didn't even have to stain it or anything. But if you had a raw wood one from the Dollar Tree, you could always stain that with Antique Wax by Waverly. And I wanna make just a little sign there for the front of the flamingo sign and it fit in there perfectly. So just making sure that my flamingos are good and glued down to the front of our sign then I just want to go in with a white uh, paint pen. This is my Sharpie paint pen. And I'm just gonna freehand on the words love birds. I thought that'd be really fun for Valentine's Day on the front. Just kind of doing a very simple like Ray Dunn font. If you can't do that, you can always use your Cricut and get it on there perfectly. I kind of like that the white's not too bright, it kind of looks more coastal, so I only go over it once with that paint. And then I need to cover the little hanger part of the ornament, so I just cut some twine and just tie a very simple little bow, and I'm gonna glue that down into that little open slit just to cover that part of the ornament up. And I love this sign too, I think this looks so good hanging in my dining room. So once I get it all put together, it does need a hanger. And the existing sign had a hanger, but it was kind of like um, going the wrong direction. And so I'm gonna just use that wood beam there on the back and it's thick enough for my staple gun. So I'm just gonna tie some twine and do a very simple twine hanger on the back of our sign. Just trying to get that even so that it will hang and stapling that down. I always seem to miss the first time with my stapler. I don't know why. <laughs> then I thought it needed like maybe one more touch. And so I decided to go in and add just another little sand dollar um, that I got from Amazon with some hot glue to the bottom, just on one side to give it a little bit more of a beachy feel. I thought about the other side, but I decided less was more on this one. And this DIY is ready to go. This is how it looks in my dining room. I love how this turned out and I hope you love it too. Okay, are you ready for the final reveal? Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love